Oh, one of my files is missing from up there. Oh yes, it's Ed Apple Chemistry. I've got the file down, um, an honest review. We've got a lot to talk about in this video. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be giving you an honest review of A-Level Chemistry. Now, A-Level Chemistry is arguably the hardest A-Level that actually exists um, and I'm not just saying that because I did it. I literally, apparently, it is ranked one of the hardest A-Levels to get an A-star in, one of the hardest A-Levels to get an A in, one of the, just one of the hardest A-Levels in general and I'm not going to refute that because like, A-Level Chemistry is really, really hard. Um, and just, just to put it out there as we get this video started, A-Level Chemistry is really hard. Um, we're not going to sugarcoat that in this video. It's not an easy subject. It's not an easy A by any means. It's a tough, but it's so interesting and I actually really enjoyed it. Like, really enjoyed it. But, let's get into the video. So, in this video I'm going to cover the course content. Um, my favourite topics, my least favourite topics, and also the exam, um, and just some general advice about chemistry all the way through. So let's go to number one, the course content. I loved it. I actually loved the course content. I found it really interesting. Um, now, there were some bits that I didn't enjoy, some bits I did enjoy, and we'll get into that later, but um, I found it so interesting. Like, Chemistry is incredible. It's just incredible how everything works and how everything moves together to do these things. Um, it, you start with your GCSE chemistry knowledge and then you take it a bit further for your AS or your first year of A-levels, depending on which system you do. And then A2 takes it so much further, like out of the park um, with just everything that's going on in chemistry. Now, you learn a lot more practical applications of chemistry and how chemistry looks like in real life. So you get to learn how to make stuff, you get to learn, you know, how you would use stuff in real life and what things are used for and how you can do this, how stuff's made in industry. Um, it's really interesting and one of my favourite things really has just been learning how to make stuff, like learning how you would actually do something to make a substance um, and what steps you do to make sure you get the most and uh, maximising your yield and purification um, and some of these you know these are long um, methods that you kind of have to learn for your exam but just thinking about them I enjoyed just doing it I enjoyed learning that um, but that's just me and so um, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat this there is a lot of chemistry content the textbook is thick with about 16 cues thick um, if I can edit that in that would be incredible but, like, this textbook, and this is only A2, there's another one for the year before. Um, so this is only your second year, and the first year one is about as thick. Um, that's the chemistry textbook. Um, there's a lot of content, and you need to learn it so specifically for your exam. You need to have every single word exact in that exam to get the marks. The mark schemes are so incredibly specific. Like, so specific, it's hard. Um, chemistry is difficult, and I'm not going to sugarcoat that in any way in this video. Um, you need to understand everything. You need to remember everything in your exams. It's very difficult. You need to be exact with wording. And even drawing stuff, they are so specific to the fact where if you draw a table and it's like, you know, like a non cross thing, no, wrong. It has to be fully enclosed with a square or a rectangle. Um, or if you're drawing a benzene ring, you know, you have to make sure that all of your, like, what, all of your lines of your hexagon are drawn together, your circle is fully closed, no open circles, because uh, then your delocalized pi system is not fully closed. Um, things like that, and even drawing arrows from the benzene ring right to the compound you're doing, uh, from the outside, not the inside, um, of the delocalized pi system. It's quite awkward, but yeah, that's the course content. There's a lot of it. And I have the revision guides here. These got me through both years. So there's um, AS1, AS2, A21, A22, and then practical for both. Um, these are really useful, actually. They're really useful um, just to give you more information, to give you a second wording, because they're slightly different from the textbook as well. Um, were they written by the same person? 
No, they weren't. So they're written by a different person. So it's like a different way of someone explaining it to you, which I think is really good. Um, Alan G. McFarland. He did a good job. He did a good job. Dump those over there. And then also like my chemistry file. Um, and that's not even all of it. Like there's more. There's more that we haven't got in here. So yeah, there's a lot of work in chemistry um, and a lot of content. So, okay, it's raining really heavily. So let's go on to number two. What is my favorite topic? Um, my favorite topic was benzene chemistry or arenes. Um, I love organic chemistry and a in both years, actually, you do go in a lot more in depth with organic chemistry than you did at AS. But there's all it's a good balance between organic and inorganic. Um, so if you don't like organic, then there is inorganic. And there's also quite a bit of analytical chemistry, which is more like maths um, in chemistry. So if you like maths and chemistry, then you know there's that too. And they all work together. Um, I love mechanisms. I love drawing mechanisms. I don't know why. I just think it's so satisfying. I love nomenclature. Nomenclature is basically how to name stuff in chemistry. I just love um, being able to name or like 1,4-dichloro-2,8-dimethyl-nonane. Um, um, <laughs> that's the thing that does exist. And I could draw it for you, but I'm not going to, but um, I could. That, like, these are the sort of things you learn and I absolutely just love knowing how to do that and Chemistry, just chemistry is so interesting. I'm gonna say that so many times, like, can we have a count? Um, but the practicals in your second year of A-level chemistry are so good. Um, so we did one where we, well, we didn't actually do it, the teachers did a, a demonstration of preparing methyl 3 nitrobenzoate And it's like this practical, you add the stuff together, you cool an ice, you add it together, you cool an ice, you pour it over crushed ice, you filter it, you wash it. Um, and even just like the fact that they're making sure that they're doing it under 10 degrees to ensure that it only makes the three nitrobenzoate and not the like three five dinitrobenzoate. Um, I find that really interesting of why they're doing things. And then you also learn to purify stuff and that's like stuff I love and stuff I want to do in my life later on, um, like as a job. So I find that so useful and just so interesting. And now for my least favorite topic. Um, it was actually a first year topic, so an AS topic. Physical properties of elements and compounds. No, I really did not like it. It was just not the most enjoyable for me, um, learning about melting points and burling, boiling points and like why they were that. Like I understand it and I know it's very I know it's important, but I just didn't vibe with it. Um also one there's one topic that I can barely remember but hate and like how warm stuff can get. I don't care. <laughs> like, that was one of the topics I didn't like at all. Um, and just didn't, I didn't get along with it. And I just didn't enjoy it. But like, there are so few topics in chemistry that I didn't enjoy. Um, the topics I loved can massively outweigh the topics I didn't. Um, and that's been brutally honest. Like, I loved a lot more than I didn't like in chemistry, which is a good sign for a subject, I guess. And also a good sign that that's what I want to continue doing with my life. Okay, and now number four. The exam. Now, if you're going to do chemistry, you've got to be aware of the exam. Um, chemistry exams are brutal. They are really brutal, like, really, really brutal. Um, you have to be so exact the entire way through the exams, and they're long. They are really long exams. You'll think you've done 18 questions, there'll be another five coming. Um, there's usually about 18 to 21 questions on an exam. Um, but there are multiple choice. Now, chemistry is the only subject which has multiple choice in the C spec, so that's the exam board I do. Chemistry is the only um, subject which has multiple choice and it's the first 10 questions of your chemistry exam. Um, and it's only at A level, they don't do it at GCSE, it's only ever A level that has multiple choice. And the multiple choice questions are confusing because the answers that they give are the wrong answers. And um, they give you the like common wrong answers and then the right answer and you have to get the right answer. And sometimes you'll be doing like a calculation that would be five marks for one mark of multiple choice. It irritates me. No end that you can do that. Um, it's just annoying. But um, honestly, the exams are kind of interesting. You do not have time to think though. You do not have time to think because you have to have your knowledge so well inside your head that you can just go. You can blurt out all the knowledge and then you have some time to save 
on those questions where you have no idea what's going on, there's unseen information, unseen compounds that you have to apply your knowledge to in the exams. Um, we got a question on cinnamaldehyde, which is a thing in cinnamon. And they're saying, oh, try this. Can you do this with this? Um, there was a question about a random enzyme, like rhodonase is an enzyme. And you're like, I don't really care, but okay. Um, actually, I did care. I loved it. And then it was like, describe how this is an enzyme or show why it's an enzyme. And you're like, okay. Or it's like, this is how we're going to make aspirin. Um, describe how you could make aspirin. And you have to use your knowledge to make it. Um, I found that really interesting and just loved it doing it in the exams but like the exams are stressful they're long they're tricky out um i feel like in my, i haven't got my marks for my last exam back yet but i know i've already got one question wrong because it was something about like working out the amount of stuff that could neutralize acids and the so there were two acids produced and well i um only did it for one acid that was produced so there's me losing a mark with only one mark it's multiple choice <laughs> But yeah, it, it can be quite hard to get those right and really just apply everything you've learned throughout the entire course into one exam or two exams or three, depending on how many you have to do with your course. Um, for mine, it was three at AS, three at A2. But I ended up not doing them. So I ended up only doing like three proper exams um, at A2. Say levy. But um, active recall is essential for chemistry and you will have to do loads of past paper questions to make sure your after recall is ready to do the exam. It's non-stop. It's like, go, 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 go. Um, and then you have to apply your knowledge to new situations, which I loved, but it is stressful in an exam when you have absolutely no idea what's going on. But overall, I really enjoyed chemistry. I thought it was exciting, interesting, and I just loved doing it. Um, I only had a couple of mental breakdowns, one specifically before my exam, and I was like, what am I going to do? Do I actually know this? Um, but chemistry is really enjoyable, and it's really rewarding to learn it, and to kind of have an idea of what's going on in life, um, as well as in your exam for chemistry. And so, if you want to ask me any questions about chemistry, feel free to do so in the comments. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that great stuff. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.